Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the property page settings. The property page settings can be managed from team options. To see the available options you will need to go to VP Residence options and go to property page section. Here you'll have options that will help you customize the property page design. The settings here will apply for the default property page template. This means that if a custom template will be selected, the settings made here will not apply. You can check if you have a custom template assigned by going to custom template. If here there is no template selected, then the settings added in property page design will apply to your property pages. I will start with the first section, which is the property page design. The first option here is to choose a property page layout. You will have seven layouts available. You will have layouts that are suitable for sliders inside the property page or sliders in the property page header. Also, the layouts six and seven will have separate settings. I will start with the first property page layout. If selected, you will need to select a slider type that will be displayed inside the property page. The selection can be made from the media section type images and video option. The sliders that are displayed inside the property page are classic slider, vertical slider and horizontal slider. I will keep the classic slider selected. If I will go on front end, I will have the property page with the classic slider displayed. If you will select a slider that is usually displayed in the property page header, that slider will become small and will be displayed in the property page content. I will show an example. If I go on property page on front end and refresh the page, you will see the multi-image slider, just that it will not be displayed in the property page header, it will be displayed in the small slider section. I will go back to team options, I will select back the classic slider, I will save the changes made. For this kind of slider you will have this option, media section order button selection. With this option you will be able to select the buttons that will be displayed over the slider, you will be able to do that with drag and drag. The first option, image gallery, needs to stay in the visible box for the actual slider to be visible on front end. If you want to disable it, then you can move it in the disabled box and the slider will not show at all on the property page. I will move it back. I will also move street view so I can show all buttons. By going on property page, I will refresh the page. On the slider you will see now four buttons. This one is to select the image gallery. This one is to select the map. This is for video and this is for virtual tour. These two buttons will show only if the property will have selected a video and a virtual tour. In team options you have the option to disable these buttons. I will show. I will leave image gallery to keep the slider on the page but I will disable video, virtual tour, street view and map view buttons. I will save the changes and now on front end no buttons will show. If I add back map view, I will refresh the page. Now I will have image gallery and the map button. Going back to team options, this option will apply only for the slider that will show in the property page content. Going back to the property page layouts, now I will select the second layout. I will save changes. When you use this layout, you will need to select a slider that will show in the property page header. You can choose between slider version 4, multi-image slider, masonry gallery version 1 and version 2. I will select this one. I will save the changes made. I will go back on the property page and refresh. And now you will have the slider that I just selected. And no slider will be displayed in the property page content. Going back to team options. The layout 3, 4 and 5 are similar, just with different design elements. For example, if I select the layout type 3, I will also need to select a slider that will be displayed in the page content. I will save changes. After refresh, I will have the slider, just that with this template, the slider will be displayed first in the page and after you will have the content 
and the sidebar. Going back to theme options, the other templates are similar just with some little design changes. The layouts 6 and 7 will need special settings. These two layouts do not support tabs layout, will work only with accordion and the settings for the section in the property page need to be selected from this section selection for accordion layout 6 and 7. Here you will be able to arrange the sections in the property page with drag and drop. You will be able to set first column, second column, after columns for row and the elements that will not be visible. I will go back to the property page design. After you decided on the property page layout that you want, you can move to the next option, which is the media header type for property page. Here you will be able to select no header, image, theme slider, revolution slider, or a Google Maps. This will apply for all your properties. I will leave it to none. Going to the next section, I have already explained this. I will quickly show how each slider type shows in the property page. I shown the classic slider. I will select vertical slider with the first property page layout. This is how the vertical slider will show. I will select the horizontal slider and save changes. This is the horizontal slider. I will select slider version 4 with the property page layout version 2. Save changes. This is how the slider will show. I will select multi-image slider. This is the multi-image slider. I will select masonry gallery version 1. This is how it will show. And for the version 2, this will be the layout. Going further, the next section will apply only for the sliders that will show in the property page content. And for the next option, you will have show content as accordion or tabs. If accordion will be selected, then you will need to go to the selection for accordion layout. And here you will be able to select with drag and drop the elements that will show in the property page. Currently, I have all elements selected, but with drag and drop, I can disable any section. I will make a quick test and I will leave only a few elements in the property page. I will have only these sections. I will save the changes and on property page, on refresh, you will see that I will have only the sections that I selected in theme options. Going back to theme options, I will go back to property page design. For accordion content only, you will have this option, property navigation sticky bar. This option is for the menu that will show here and you will have the option to select if that menu will be sticky or not. I will show the options for tabs content as well. I have selected tabs. When you select tabs, you will need to go to the selection for tab layout. Here you will need to select the sections that will show in tab, after tab and not visible at all. So I will do a quick test as well. I will leave these sections for tabs. For after tab, I will leave only the map and video and the rest I will move them with drag and drop to the not visible section. I will save the changes made. I will refresh the page. Now you will see the tab section and the sections that I selected to show after tabs. Going back to theme options, I will go back to property page design. Next you will have the option to set the column number for property details section, for property address section and for the property features and amenities you will be able to select one column, two column or three columns for each of this element. I will do a quick test to show how this works. I will set address to be on two columns and leave these two on three columns. I will save the changes made. I will go on the property page and you will see that now the address details is displayed in two columns, the details in three columns and the features in three columns as well. Going back to theme options, next you will have the option to select if the property page will have a sidebar. You can disable the sidebar by selecting no sidebar or you can change the position to be displayed right or left. You will have the option to set 
the sidebar to be sticky or not. For the next option, you will be able to select the sidebar that will show in the property page. And for the last option in this section, you will be able to select if the previous and next buttons will show on the property page. I will go on property page. That option refers to the buttons in the property page that will take you to the next or to the previous property. By selecting no or refresh, that button will not be visible anymore. These are the settings available for the property page design section. Next, I will quickly show the other sections available under property page. Next, you'll have custom template. Here, you will be able to select any custom template. For this section, we already have many videos explaining how to create and use the custom property template. The selection for accordion layout, for tab layout and for accordion layout 6 and 7 have already been explained. I will go to overview section. Here you will be able to manage the fields that will be displayed in overview. I have already made some settings here. I have six fields. I will add two more back and save changes. If you go to property page and refresh, you will see the fields that I just set. You will be able to change the order of these fields with drag and drop. I did this. I will save the changes. And on property page, the changes will be visible after refresh. Going to the next section, here you can enable the map on the property page and you can enable the option to hide the map location. If set to yes, then in the property page, instead of the pin with the exact property location, you will have this circle that will display a near location, but not the exact one. Going back to team options, here you will have the energy efficiency section. We have already made a special video tutorial only for the settings that needs to be applied for the energy efficiency section. Going further, you will have the calculator. Here you will have the option to disable the calculator from the property page. If set to yes, you will need to make settings. You will need to select here the categories where the calculator will be excluded from, if you have any, and set the values that fit your business. Going further to contact and schedule tour, here you will have the option to set the agent contact form to be displayed on sidebar or no and make other settings. We also have a special video tutorial explaining each option in this section. Going further, you will have show height details. Here you have options with yes, no, to show height, print, add to favorite, share and address details under the title. Going to the property page, this is the print button, this is the favorite one, share, and these are the address details that can be disabled from that section. Going back to team options, next you'll have listing label section. Here you will be able to rename each section in the property page. You will just need to change the word here and replace it with the one that you want to be displayed on front end. If you need to translate your site in another language, this is the place where you need to translate the labels on the property page. Going further, you'll have lightbox section. You will be able to select if you want to have the contact form on Lightbox, I will show on property page. If you click on the images in the slider, you will have the Lightbox. And this is the contact form that you can disable from Team Options. And also you will have the option to crop the image that will show in Lightbox. Going further, you will have features and amenities section. Here you will be able to set if you show or not the features and amenities that are not available. If set to yes in property page, you will see under features all features and amenities that you added in admin, but the ones that are not selected will be highlighted. Going back to team options, for print page design, you'll have the option to show or hide certain sections from the print page Going further to Yelp, here you can use this option to create a nearby section in your property pages. You will need to create an API from Yelp and add your credentials here. Only if the credentials are added here, the nearby section will show in the property page. Going further, you'll have the WAC score 
section. You will also need to create an API following the link here. And on property page, you will have the number of steps available for your property. We showcase this section in our demos. This is how it will look like. Going back, the next section is for breadcrumbs. You can select the taxonomies that will appear in breadcrumbs. You can select category, action, city, area and status. Any change that you make will be reflected in the property page breadcrumb section here. Going further to the next section, you will have the disclaimer section. Here you will be able to add a text that will be displayed in the property page. I will show how this works. I will add a text here. You can use this parameter to display in the text the property address and you can use this one to display the property ID. I will save changes and the disclaimer will show at the end of the property page here. Going back to team options, next you will have review section and here you will be able to select the number of the reviews that will be displayed in your property page. You can add a number and if you leave this field blank, then all reviews will show. And for the last section, you will have similar listings. Here you can make settings for the similar listing section in your property page. We also have a dedicated video tutorial only for the section explaining how it works. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.